Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to a brand new video where we're going to be talking about the barn finds in Forza Horizon 4. Now we're using Forza Horizon 3 gameplay in the background for this and I do want to give a little disclaimer real quick right in the beginning of the video that I had some weird issues with this particular uh, section of gameplay where you'll see there was some weird, um, there was some weird lag within the game and I'm not sure why it was there because all of my other Horizon 3 recordings have been, you know, smooth. Like you guys know, they've been really, really smooth, they've been good to go. Um, this video has has some odd hiccups in it and I'm not sure where those hiccups came from so what I'm probably gonna do is the next time I get into Horizon 3 I'm gonna do a little bit of testing here and there because I've never even touched the settings ran the game on ultra and it's been fine super smooth no problem um, this is the first time I ever had anything like that happen but with that out of the way let's talk barn finds in Forza Horizon 4 so we've already talked about we've already talked about like barn finds and like supposedly now they're in bunkers and they're a little bit more hidden they're a little bit more off the beaten track supposedly which is going to make them a little bit more fun to find but these cars are assumed to be barn finds because they're obviously there are a lot of the older cars in the car list some of them are a little older than others but some of them are they're mo most of them are at this point you know more than 20 or 25 years old so i would say that starts to put them in barn find territory i mean i don't think you're you're going to be finding a 20 year old car under anybody's barn find you know can, like any, under anybody's definition of barn find anytime soon barn find I feel like is kind of more reserved for cars that are 40 50 60 years old but with that being said let's get to the cars themselves so for example the 1977 VW GTI. That, I think, is interesting to, to use as an idea of a barn find because it's a... It's not necessarily, like, a supercar. It's not necessarily something that's, like, insanely hard to find or, like, insanely desirable. I mean, they are desirable cars, but they're not, like... They're not a XJ220 or something. So, it's one of those cars that I think is... is it's, it's something that you could find in a barn and go, Oh, that's really cool. Personally, what I would do if I, if I found an old GTI in a barn, I'd probably be like, hmm, race car. But that's just me. Now, another car is the 1960 Aston Martin DB4 GT. We know this car. We Some of us love this car. Some of us don't love this car quite as much. But you can't argue with the fact that it is a, it's, it's a absolutely incredible machine. The 1983 Audi Sport Quattro, which that's an interesting car because... It's very much a rally heritage car. It's a very angry car. It's a very intense car. It's a very, you know, it's like, ah, I'm going to tear your face off kind of car. But, but it's very accurate. So it kind of is a dual, per like dual personality, like almost bipolar car that it just embodies the, it, the whole essence of going off road very, 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 very quickly, like very quickly. Um, we have the 1930 Bentley Bowler, which that's a, that, that's an interesting one. That's going back. I mean, that's, you know, I mean, what would that be? Almost 80 years old now. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. Well, no, no. Well, wait, 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 wait. My math is wrong. 1930, that's a 70 years to 2000. And then another, so that's almost 90 years old. Wow. Okay. I had to stop and do simple math real quick. I really apologize for that. 1986 Ford Escort RS, 1964 Ford GT40, personal favorite right there. 1993 Jag XJ220. They still need to put the XJ220S in a Forza game. I, I freaking love that car. Uh, 1997 Lotus Elise GT1, which is the newest car on this list. Um, 1970 Land Rover Range Rover. 1965 MGB. 1965 Mini Cooper S. 62 PLP50. 98 Impreza 22B STI. And actually, I was mistaken when I said that the 97 Elise GT1 was the newest. The 98 Impreza 22B STI is the newest on that list. 62 Triumph Spitfire, 98 TBR Cerbero, which ties that STI, the 22B STI, for the newest car on the list. And again, finishing off with the 77 GTI. Now, some of my personal favorites that I'll go through the list are the Audi Sport Quattro, the XJ220, the GT40, the PLP50, and the 22B and the Cerbera. I would probably say those are some of my absolute favorites. Now, I think if I'm picking like like full-on favorite favorites it's really hard like it's really 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 hard i hope that i'll be able to recreate uh an xj220 s to some extent if i can recreate that if i could recreate one like one for one holy crap i would be in love i probably would never get out of that car but that car just to me i mean yeah when you look at the real one the build quality is crap it's terrible 
like the you know the windows go out the the switches go out the radio falls out of the dash if you accelerate too harshly but you know what i that that's one of the few cars that i would not care genuinely would not care i would drive the wheels off that car i genuinely would i would drive the crap out of it i would take it and do mountain runs i would take it and do track days i would just drive it and beat it and drive it and beat it and of course maintain it but that car to me just has a special place and I've always loved that car and it's one of those I don't care how unreliable or 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 badly built it is I'm still gonna wheel it kind of cars the PLP 50 is gonna be a blast because it's so tiny and I can't wait to see what engine options are gonna be there for that I mean we've already talked about the fact that the PLP 50 is gonna be in the game you guys already know the PLP 50 is gonna be in the game because obviously we've gone over the car list but this is more in terms of like barn find stuff what we think is gonna be barn finds what we think is gonna be more in that sort of realm of car or at least car type so I think at the end of the day we've got a really good list here of, of what has potential to be some really cool barn finds or bunker finds I, I say that with air quotes because I don't know if that's what they're actually gonna be called or not but at the end of the day I think that no matter whether they're called bunker finds or barn finds or whatever people are still gonna call them barn finds because that's what people know and that's what people have become used to in the horizon series as a whole it's like oh go get the barn finds oh go get the barn finds so I think people are still going to call them barn finds regardless of what the new game calls them. And, you know, it's hard to rebrand something that's been a part of your series for so long that people have gotten so accustomed to, right? And I feel like it wouldn't really be in their best interest even to rebrand barn finds. I mean, why would you? I mean, I guess aside from the thing, aside from the reason that, like, I guess in the UK, it's more of like... I guess, I guess there's more like sheds in the UK than there are barns, but, and I don't have a ton of experience of the UK, but I just, I, I know for a fact that they like, that, I don't know, they seem to like to use the term shed over the term barn, whereas here in the US, especially here in the southern US where I grew up, we like to use the term barn more than the term shed. So, I, but then again, for us, a barn and a shed is different, and, and like for them, they can kind of use shed for like whatever. For us, like a shed has to be like a shed is like small a shed is like a little small like one room thing that you keep like small like tools and you know maybe small equipment in whereas a barn is like a big building where you keep like machinery or animals or whether or not it's like whether it's like a equipment barn or like you know a, a horse barn or whatever it is but i'm getting completely and utterly off topic here and to return back to the topic at hand the barn finds in horizon 4 that list should give you a good overall idea of what is coming now we already know that they have the capability to add in more barn finds through the through the ways of dlc and if you guys have any barn finds that you would like to see post them in the comment section below and let me know because i would love 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 to know what you guys would like to see come into the game as a barn find especially if it's a new card of the series that's never been in a forza game before so Go ahead and post those in the comment section below and let me know what your thoughts are. If you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed uh, me going over those cars, make sure you leave me a like, subscribe for more, tell me in the comment section below what you guys enjoyed, and I or that you guys enjoyed, or if you didn't enjoy it, then tell me in the comment section below that this video was terrible. But no, if you guys enjoyed, which I hope you did, make sure you come back next time, and I'll see you guys later.